Go with reaction. Fox News contributor Jonathan Turley. Well, I labeled a few of the areas that I've identified uh, that President Trump should appeal. Um, I think because of the circumstances and the severity of the conflicts in this case and constitutional issues that are at hand here, it should be expedited. I think the American people have a right to know if it's going to be overturned before the election. Um, I would urge the Trump's attorneys to pursue every avenue to get there. What would you advise them? Well, I think they are going to pursue every avenue. I must say I do not hold out uh, much hope that the Supreme Court will uh, allow them to go directly to the highest court uh, for review. The reason is that the Supreme Court previously turned down Jack Smith, who wanted to expedite his own prosecution of Trump. And I think that some of the justices are going to want to stay within that same lane. Uh, now, that means it goes through the New York criminal system. And many of us don't have a lot of faith after this trial in that system. Uh, I think that initially, at least, he may have some uh, tough going. Uh, but I have to tell you, I think that these errors are rather glaring and obvious. I can't imagine this verdict being sustained on review. It just may take a while. It may uh, occur later. In fact, it may not occur until they get to the Supreme Court. But I think the Trump campaign has to assume that it will not get a final review before the election. Yeah. All right. So we have July 11th sentencing. Uh, somebody, it's a class, what, E uh, felony. Uh, we had the upcharge, of course, the novel legal theory, the theory that we spoke so often about. You have somebody that's never been convicted before. Uh, usually, I would think that somebody would be released on their own recognizance pending appeal. Uh, I suspect anything's possible with Judge Mershon. Uh, will he try to put him in jail and have him miss his own con Republican convention? Uh, is he going to have home confinement as part of this? Uh, you know, how far does he go? Well, before I sat in that courtroom, I would have said that all of these options were uh, um, almost fanciful. Uh, I was really surprised in what I saw in that courtroom. I felt that the judge was dead wrong on a number of his, his decisions. He ruled very heavily towards the prosecution. Even liberal legal analysts have admitted to that. Uh, but to, first of all, to sentence him to jail ultimately as an elderly first offender in a nonviolent crime uh, would be just such a huge departure from the norm uh, in Manhattan and other courts uh, that I think that even many liberals would, would object, that they would say that, that uh, that's the, you're adding to this notion of a special criminal system just for Trump. Uh, it's bad enough that they effectively created a crime uh, for him, zapping a dead misdemeanor into life and coming up with this rather novel theory. In terms of any sentence being uh, um, imposed before appeal, I would hope that Judge Mershon would suspend it or allow the appeal to go forward. Uh, there are a lot of options here. If he doesn't go with a jail sentence, which I think would be absurd, uh, there's community service, there's home confinement. Uh, in most of these cases, I think you would have a conditional dismissal. Uh, this The type of go out and sin no more, you're on uh, probation uh, or parole and you're under re court review. Uh, I think that's what most judges would view a case of this kind. But nothing that has happened in this case is how things are usually done in the criminal justice system, in my view. Yeah. All right, Jonathan Turley, we'll see. We'll uh, see soon enough, right. only a few days before the Republican National Convention. This will be interesting. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.